ஹலோ ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் வெல்கம் டு மை சேனல் வேத வித் ஐ ஹோப் யூ ஆர் ஆல் டூவிங் குட் இன் த ப்ரீவியஸ் வீடியோ தட் இஸ் த பார்ட் ஒன் ஆஃப் த ஃபைனல் கம்மிங் ஆஃப் காட் வி டிஸ்கஸ்ட் அபவுட் த டைம் பீரியட் ஆர் கால சக்ர ஆஃப் த காட் அண்ட் வி கேம் டு அ கன்க்ளூஷன் தட் த ஃபைனல் கம்மிங் ஆஃப் காட் ஹூ இஸ் நோன் எஸ் த கல்கி மஹதி ஆர் த செகண்ட் கம்மிங் ஆஃப் ஜீசஸ் ஆர் மைத்ரேயா அரைவ் டு திஸ் அர்த் ஆன் நைன்டீன் ஹண்ட்ரட் ஏடி தோஸ் ஹூ ஹேவன் வாட்ச் த வீடியோ இட் ஐ ஹாவ் அட்டாச் த லிங்க் இன் டிஸ்கிரிப்ஷன் டூ செக் இட் அவுட் பிகாஸ் யூ ஓன் பி ஏபிள் டு ஃபாலோ வாட் ஐ ஆம் கோயிங் டு சே இன் திஸ் வீடியோ without seeing the first part before getting into this video do subscribe to my channel for more interesting topics related to spirituality and don't skip and watch because each and every detail matters to understand this let's go this video we are going to discuss about the part 2 of the final coming of god for your kind information god has already arrived in this world on the year 1900 and is undergoing the penance phase right now i can see lot of people around the world in all religions are searching for this answer but it is not that easy with the limited information they have only if you have knowledge about all the religions and vedas it will be easy for you to connect the dots and as i say there is no space for bluffing because i am going to provide you with all the proofs you need these proofs are not just from one religion but from all the major religions Surprisingly there are dozens of proof out there but I will cover some of the important ones so that it will be easy for you to understand So the big question is where is the god or kalki now To know about this there is a holistic way of approach so that you can find the answer We all know that god is coming and that's true if you look into the prophecies of holy saints you will be surprisingly amazed because if you see how an event is preplanned and organized before the arrival of the chief guest or some important person likewise the holy saints and prophets from all the religion declared the arrival of god and organized it through their prophecies maybe some have mistaken what they said but if you dig in deep you will know that they had declared everything with a maximum accuracy now speaking about his place of arrival i would like to make it more easy and interesting for you to understand Let us see this in three different approaches. The first one will be the address approach where we will discuss starting from the continent level then proceeding with the country, state, district and the actual place where God is. The second approach will be the boundary or directional approach. where we will discuss about the boundaries surrounded by the place of god and the third one will be the shambhala approach where we will discuss about the secret place known as shambhala as i told you we have proofs for all of this and let us see it one by one let's begin with the address approach starting with the continent level there are two proofs the first one is from the holy bible in bible in the first chapter of revelation in the fourth verse you can see the name of the continent asia being mentioned as the place where god is going to come 
this seems to be a very simple approach and it's not very complicated or confusing. The second proof is from the holy book Prometheus Bound which is found rarely in the European region. There it has been mentioned that the god will leave Europe and arrive in Asia along the hill range called Ural Hills. So from these two proof it is declared that the final coming of God will be coming to the Asian continent. Next we will discuss about the country where the God or Kalki will be coming. For this I will provide you with two proof. The first one is from the prophecy of Buddhism where they expect the final coming of God named Maitreya Buddha. It states that he will be coming to the Shambhala village in India. The second proof is from the Islam holy book Hadith. There Prophet Muhammad used these words Hind ki taraf se jannat ki khushbu aati hai which means the scent of heaven comes from India. So here it is mentioned as India. So with this we can understand that the country where Kalki or Mahdi will be coming is India. Next we will move on to the part of country where the Almighty will be coming. Sri Vasanta Rishi Pusundar an ancient saint who is from India mentioned where God will be coming in his song which dates back to 5000 years. This song is in Tamil language and I will explain it to you in English. The title goes by the name the Nadudaya Sivan which means Lord Shiva of the South. In simple words what he mentioned here is there won't be enlightenment to the people of North but there will be enlightenment along with immortality to the people of the South. So he refers to the South of the country. The next proof is given by the famous Tamil saint Manikavasakar who belonged to the 9th century. He wrote the famous book Tiruvasakam. In that he wrote a song saying the Narudaya Sivane Potri in Natavarkum Ireva Potri, which means praise the Lord Shiva of South. In the next line he says praise who he is the God of all nations. So hereby it is declared that God will be coming to the south of India. Every follower of Lord Shiva thinks that he is in the north and they go on for a pilgrimage to worship him. But here is the evidence that God or Lord Shiva will come to the south. From all this proof it is crystal clear that they have mentioned the state which is none other than Tamil Nadu. Because Tamil Nadu is considered to be the spiritual capital of the whole world because of being the place of origin of mankind and many other religions. Not just that, even the spiritual knowledge and wisdom along with other cultural, economical and political knowledge spread across India and different parts of the world from Tamil Nadu. You can understand this by having a look at this silk route. This silk route dates back to the 2nd century which was and is a network of trade connecting east and west where Tamil Nadu is the center of attraction. Not just that, if you compare the number of Vedas and temples from all over the world to the Tamil Vedas and temples, you will be quite amazed by the numbers. Because there are more than 38,000 temples out of which 33,000 are at least 1000 years old. 
Thus, Tamil Nadu remains a spiritual capital to the whole world. Let's go back into this topic. Now we have to look into the district where Kalki will be coming. Once again, the Saint Sri Vasantarushi Pusundar, who I mentioned earlier, gives proof for this in his song, which was written 5000 years ago. This is in Tamil language and I will explain in English. Here he mentioned a place named Pudukotai, ruled by a king named Tondaiman. So, this prophecy accurately points out the Pudukote district which was earlier ruled by Tondaiman kingdom, famously known as the Tondaiman Simai. Previously, while talking about the continent, I mentioned about a book named Prometheus Bound. There it says that he will leave Europe and arrive in the Asian territory along the side of Ural Hills. There is a big hidden secret in this statement, so listen to me carefully. During the time of arrival of God, that is, after 1900 AD, he moved from Madurai district, which was under the British rule, considered to be a European territory, and went to Pudukotai district, which remained as an Asian territory because it did not come under the British rule. Instead, they had friendly relationship with the British. But the rest of Tamil Nadu was under the British control and was considered to be a European territory. And surprisingly, you will find a hill region in Urapati village of Pudukote district known as Ural Malai meaning Ural Hills. I hope now you are able to connect the dots. Many of them are confused thinking that it is the Ural Mountains which is located in Russia. But no, it is the Ural Hills of Pudukotai district. This remains as a secret and now it's been revealed. In addition to this information, there is another proof mentioned in the prophecy of Saint Zoroaster who is the founder of Zoroastrianism. He mentioned that the place of God will exist by the side of a lake surrounded by a flower named Kasambu. And he didn't stop right there and described a mind-blowing prophecy saying that the God or the Kalki will have a son named Vargavan. And surprisingly, the person mentioned in this prophecy is real and is still alive. Now, here we are going to see something even more interesting. Prometheus Bound also stated that God will himself construct a temple known as Golden Temple, which in Tamil language means Ponnarangam. In India, in the state of Punjab, you will find a golden temple which was built by the Sikh Gurus. That golden temple is known as Harmandir Sahib in Punjabi meaning Adobe of God. That golden temple is none but an architectural prophetic representation of the place where God will stay. And the place where God's golden temple or Pun Arangam is located is known as Mei Valley Sa Lai, which means the true path.
The name of this place has been mentioned in some Vedas including Aram Tirumurai which was written by the famous Tamil saint Vallalar where he declares that God will come to Salai which is in the southern direction from Vadalur town. And that is how the address approach has been defined. Next we will move on to the boundary or the direction approach. This proof was given by Sri Sanar Kulanayagam in his prophecy where he describes about the boundaries of this place with respect to all the four directions. This was written in his song and I will explain it to you. He says, Patta Purankilaku Pungavu Nirmirku. That means Pattapuram is situated to the east of the paradise and the paradise is situated to the west of Pattapuram. Here Pattapuram refers to Pattukote which is situated to the east of Maivali Sale. Next, Vattamulla Sri Rangam Vadakku Vanam Tirkagum which means Sri Rangam is situated to the north of forest and the forest is situated to the south of Sri Rangam. Here, Maivali Sala is called as a forest because this place is actually situated in a forest area and Sri Rangam is situated near Tirchi city which is to the north of Maivali Sala. Next, Tekke Tirikonam Sengavu Nirvadakku which means Tirikonam is situated to the south of the forest and the forest is situated to the north of Tirikonam. Tirikonam refers to Tirikonamalai situated in Sri Lanka which is situated to the south of Maivali Sale. Next is Mikkavagai Merku Megundavanam Nerkilaku which means the hill region is situated to the west of the forest and the forest is situated to the east of the hill region. The hill regions refers to the western gods which is situated to the west of Maivali Sale. This is how accurately he mentioned the location of God's place. Not only that, in the first two lines he also declared that this forest is the real Kailash and Vaikundam which means heaven or the gateway to heaven. Thus the directional approach has been proved. So the third and the final approach is known as the Shambhala approach. People who follow Hinduism and Buddhism strongly believe that the Kalki or the Maitreya Buddha will arrive in the holy place famously known as the Shambhala or Shangri-La. Most of them believe that Shambhala is situated somewhere in the Himalayas. So people think that heaven will be a place which has the best scenic views like the Himalayan region. But that's not true. Heaven is not a place just with some scenic view but a place where human habitation is possible. Where someone can live happily in a perfect weather condition where you will get all varieties of food and most of all it will have six seasons making it as a paradise. Seeing these factors definitely Shambhala or the city of heaven is not situated in Himalayas where human habitat is not really possible. So where is this Shambhala? For your information, Shambhala can be referred as a village or a city or a paradise or even a community according to the Buddhist scripts. And it is said to be that it can be found only by the people who are blessed. And that Shambhala is located in Tamil Nadu. It is quite surprising but yes. According to the Vedic scriptures, Shambhala is referred to Rajagambiram in Sevagangai district of Tamil Nadu. And surprisingly, the Kalki lived there for a decade 
along with his disciples and later Shambhala was shifted to Maivali Salai. As I told you, Shambhala also refers to the community. So, when the community of God shifted from Raja Gambiram and moved to Maivali Salai, it has been declared that Shambhala is moved to Maivali Salai. And thus, the secret city of Shambhala is revealed which is known as Maivali Salai. In Maivali Salai, you will find that the flag being raised which carries the symbol of heaven representing that the God's rule has started. And the seven trumpets mentioned in Bible are blowing since 1951 declaring the arrival of God and it also warns the people of world about the doomsday or the judgment day. Thus the Kalki has declared his arrival in India in the state of Tamil Nadu in the district of Pudukotai in a village called Maivali Salai and is undergoing the penance phase and people are waiting for his advent coming. This factor is proved in Buddhism where they believe that Maitreya Buddha will hide himself and will come back to end this world. For all the people who are searching for God and the people who believe that God is nowhere, do know that God is now here. So who is this Kalki Avatar? Who is he? Stay tuned and watch the third part. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to put your thoughts in the comment box. Do like, share and subscribe to my channel for more interesting topics. We'll meet you in the next video. Thank you once again.